praise God more so as spiritual. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So Galatians is really talking about your spiritual lifestyle. Your spiritual lifestyle. And how you live your spiritual lifestyle is very important. Very important. Because it, it, it gives you the ability to communicate with God. Because God is a spirit. And, and if we were to go, we might, we're not going to go there. But if we were to go to the book of Romans, chapter number 8, it would tell you that the, that the, that the spirit warring against the flesh. Carmel is enmity against God. So to walk in carnality is, is, is a war and a struggle and a fight against God. And in, in no wise will an individual that's walking in carnality be able to please God. Amen? Amen. Any questions on that? Any questions on that? That's, that's very important. We in the book of Galatians, chapter number 5, and we're, we're opening up in verse 16. So, Paul says, Walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. And ye shall not fulfill the lust or the evil desires of your carnal nature. We have uh, a spiritual nature and we have a carnal nature. Our spiritual nature and our carnal nature they war against each other. Mm -hmm. The spiritual nature is the one that we must allow to win every time. Our spiritual nature, our divine nature. When an individual receives the Holy Ghost, they receive a, a, a divine nature, a nature that is representative of God. And based on that, based on that, based on that, God then expects us to be able to walk in the Spirit. Amen? Amen. Now, what Spirit is he talking about? He's talking about the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. And he's literally talking about allowing the Holy Spirit to dominate your life. To be the one uh, that leads you and guides you at all times. We are, are, are literally never to allow our carnal or our fleshly spirit or desires to overcome our spiritual desires. Amen. 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 We should. Uh, you know how uh, some people drink alcohol and they drink it to the excess or to the point where they are drunk and they are influenced by the alcohol and, and the alcohol influences their actions. It influences their thoughts and their, and their, and their way of living. Follow? And to where they drink it so often, they become addicted to it. Got to have it. Uh, in the in, in same like manner, God wants us to be addicted to his spirit. In, influenced by his spirit, uh, that uh, we submit to it, that it, it influences our actions. What we say, what we do. And then become addicted to it. Paul said that in one of his epistles, that, that he's addicted to the Holy Ghost, to Christian living. Amen? 
we ought to be addicted to Christian living. Now he says, walk in the Spirit, and if you walk in the Spirit, ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Meaning, if you walk in the Spirit, you live and are influenced by the Spirit, you should not give in to the desires of your carnal mind or your fleshly desire. Lust. Anytime you see the word lust connected in the scripture, it has no good connection. And it talks about evil desire. We all have evil desire. And you will have evil desire until you are raptured because you are in the flesh. Uh, and the Holy Ghost is always warring uh, and, uh, against the flesh, and, and your flesh is always warring or fighting against the spirit. It's a battle. It's a struggle. Paul said, when I would do good, what? Evil. evil. Always present. What, what, is that? what is he talking about? That evil? He's talking about the devil. He's not, not always present. He's not omnipresent like God. He's talking about his evil desire. That which is in him is always present with him to do evil, but, but we have to make choice. Uh, refuse the evil and choose the good. A hundred percent of the time. That has to be our goal. Amen. Amen. And, and, and sometimes it's easy. And sometimes it gets hard. <laughs> Depending on what the temptation is. What the desire is. How, how, how what? Uh, don't forget my, my vernacular or French here, as they would say. How, how, how peed off you are. How angry you are. Uh, what what you been involved in? Amen. Amen. What's on your mind? <laughs> you follow? Uh, and, and it depends. It depends on what you hear. How you been living? Uh, if you if you've been walking in the spirit, then when temptation comes, it's easier to fight off. But if you have not been walking in the spirit, it, it, it's hard to fight. Amen? And, you know, uh, sometimes the enemy can get you quick. Uh, you can come out of your church service uh, annoyed, speaking in tongues. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and pray, pray, sir. Uh, I come out of emotion. And then something can happen real quick. Uh, you can be spiritually minded one moment. 
Temptation. And God would change some of the disciples. He said, can you pray with me just for one hour? Uh, uh, that's what he said to his disciples. Uh, when he was in the garden, he said, can you just pray with me just for one hour? Uh, uh, and they all fell asleep. Jesus was praying. And, and, and we've got to watch. Amen? We've got to watch and pray. Uh, now, we see here then, he said, this I say then, do what? Verse, verse 5 and 16, what does it say? Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So walking in the spirit means to literally be influenced by the Spirit. God gave us the Holy Ghost. Uh, and when He gave us the Holy Ghost, He literally gave us everything we need to overcome everything that will come up against us. Uh, but the key is, is to be influenced by it at all times. Let the Holy Ghost influence you. Amen? At all times, in word, thoughts, and deeds. Amen? And desire. Words, thoughts, deeds, and desire. Amen? And what gets us is our desire. Uh, you gotta watch. You gotta, you gotta always be conscious of your desire. Amen? Amen? Because Sometimes your desires won't line up with the scriptures. Amen? And when those desires don't line up with the scriptures, the Bible calls them vain imagination. Huh? And then he tells us we gotta cast them down. Amen? Immediately. Cast them down. If you if you meditate on them, it's gonna give an opportunity. To be manifested. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you meditate on those evil desires, opportunity is going to come for them to be what? Manifested. If you meditate on good desires, opportunity is going to come for it to be made manifest. That's what he meant by you know a tree by its what? Fruit. And the fruit is the productivity of the tree. It's the product of the tree. Amen? An evil tree cannot produce what? A good fruit. Good fruit. A good fruit, a good tree cannot produce what? Evil fruit. Amen? If you want to see what life can live in, check your productivity. Amen? Check what you've been producing. And then, and then, check your environment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't be tight. All right. Now, notice this. Notice, notice this powerful statement at the end of this verse. He said, Paul said, if you walk in the Spirit, ye shall what? Not. Not. Uh, if you walk in the Spirit, ye shall not fulfill what? The lust or the evil desire. Every time you see lust, you think of evil desire of the flesh. Uh, your sin in the flesh, it simply means your sinful nature. Your nature. Amen? We, we, have, we have many preachers uh, and many theologians talk about, and they don't agree with it. That you have a dual nature. But you have a dual nature. Amen? Yeah. Uh, that's, what, that's where the war comes in. That's, it. that's where the fight comes in. Uh, and the reason, the reason why you absolutely have a dual nature is because of the fight. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had a divine nature, uh, you wouldn't be fighting. Oh I mean, ho holy uh, 100%. Uh, divine nature. Right. You wouldn't be fighting with anything. You'd be like God. Yes. God ain't fighting with sin. No. Huh? <laughs> God is light. And in Him there's no what? Right. Darkness at all. But we struggle with God. Yes. Huh? 
same as walking in the anointing of God. Absolutely. All right. Because you made the statement uh, about being 100% uh, holy, uh, if I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm not yeah. right. And I know as long as you're in this flesh, you know, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. And that's why God gave us the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, continue praying. And as we pray, we are continually walking in the Spirit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, we don't fulfill the, the, the lust of the, the flesh because as you walk in the spirit, you're steady changing. Yes. And as you change your members, you're, you're mm -hmm. really changing the desire of your flesh, you yes. know, with the, with the mind that God has given, that, that he wants us to change. And as we do that, our members are changing, such as, you know, our thoughts and what we do, you know, so we won't do the evil things that our flesh want to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that walking in the spirit is literally allowing the spirit to dominate your thoughts. All right. Allow All right. the Holy Ghost to commune with All right. you, to yeah. tell you what's good All and right. what's evil. All right. Uh, right. And you yeah. submit to it. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. And then, as you do that, it's like if you take a dirty glass of water mm -hmm. and put it under a, 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 a sink mm -hmm. uh, and turn the water on, all the clean water is going in and what's happening to the dirty water? It's, uh, it's being flushed out. Yes. Amen. And that's what happens to us right. when we are influenced by the Spirit. All right. uh, we're being cleansed yes. uh, from the inside all right. out. All right. <laughs> Yes. And quick to listen. Yes. And slow to anger. Because 
because scientifically they'll say, oh, you got three seconds before you open up your mouth to know if somebody did something to you, you have that. You have three seconds to say yay or nay or react or respond. Mm. And I think that's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. That's why he tells us to be quick to listen and not to speak and not to get angry because we have that moment to say, okay, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. I, this this right here, is we gonna, you got to show me right now, is this what we gonna do? Or this is what? Because it is a battle. Yes! So when oh, something no. happens, you hear, you know, I, I can give an example of one time I had a court hearing and I heard, it didn't go the way I thought it should be. Mm -hmm. And I heard the Lord say, not the Lord, I heard the enemy say it. He said, <laughs> Who is your God? Woo! I thought he, I thought he was gonna save you out of this. Wow! And I had to go in the bathroom and like talk to myself. Yes. The devil is you. You're a liar. Yes. My God is sovereign. You know, and you still had to talk. I still had to talk to him, but my it was in my spirit, like you know. Yes. And I'm sitting there like. Yeah. But you do have that time. Yeah. You know? And 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 let's just say this. If you even look at your own experience, when uh you were provoked or tempted, let's just say that. Uh how often did you say something to me? I wish I would have said it that way. Yeah. I wish I would have just kept my mouth shut. Yeah. Lord forgive me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and, and you know, we got a lot. Amen. We got a lot. Watch it. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. That happens all. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, what, 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 what is key to this is when we yield to the Spirit, it becomes easier to yield to the Spirit. Uh, to a point where it becomes a habit. Come on now. Uh, that's what God wants. He wants you, you, you yielding to the Spirit, walking in the anointing, to, be, to become a habit. Okay. Okay. Amen? Hallelujah. Right. Oh, that, that, that you don't even think about. Come on. Come on. It becomes your action, your habitual action. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, All right. So he said, he said, verse. Uh, uh, 17. He says, the flesh are our carnal nature, the evil desires that are within us. And if you say you don't have any evil desires, you're deceiving yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Amen? And, and he said, our evil desires lusted, our flesh lusted against the, the evil desire wants to overtake the spirit. Amen? Yeah. Then it says the spirit lusts against what? The flesh. The, flesh. the flesh. The spirit wants to overtake your own, your evil desire. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Now notice what it says. And these are contrary one to another, so that he cannot do the things that what? You would. You would. You would. So your inclination or your desires that are evil, huh? You cannot submit to them while walking in the spirit. They're contrary to one another. Amen? Amen. There's no way I can be spiritual minded and carnal minded at the same time. Light and the dark don't uh, 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 inhabit the same room. Light and the dark can't inhabit the same body. Amen? Amen. Alright, now notice it. They're contrary. Contrary means what? Amen? Would you agree that the, the carnal-minded person is opposite than the spiritual-minded person? Yes. Huh? Most definitely. Most definitely. It's opposite. 
Amen? Don't get any more. Huh? What you say? Don't get any more on. Don't get any more on. That's Take over again. You, you need to go to him. Absolutely. Uh, don't, don't, don't save you. Yeah. My oh, sister. Hey! Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. It's like, even when you sit still, people, you can keep giving them the truth. Yeah. You keep giving, they can know the truth. Yeah. You know, and then they're still in their mind. They turn it into an illusion. Right. After a while, when do you start playing the enemy? Wow. Because you know the truth. Right. You know what I mean? So it's up to you to follow. The enemy yeah. can give you a suggestion. He can whisper it in your ear, yeah. but you still have free will to say yay or nay, but you know the truth. You know the right or wrong way. Absolutely. And then you become reprobate minds, you and then end up having a reprobate mindset. And when you're there, the Lord said, I turn you over to your own ways. There's nothing else he's going to do. You do it. Well, he's going to keep telling you, you know it. Yes. You know it. I'm going to keep reading to you. I'm going to show you. you but you you just want to go on your way. Nobody don't keep what, What's the byproduct, byproduct of truth? Jesus said, ye shall know the truth, and it shall what? Freedom. That's the, that's the byproduct. Huh? Yeah. And if you want to know the truth, you got to know him. That's it, right? Christ. Because he said, I am the what? The way and the what? Life. Truth and the life. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Oh, this is good stuff. Mother David, you got your hand up? 
No, I didn't, but I was I was thinking, I said, uh, Hallelujah! I was thinking that truth stands alone. If you take anything from it, it's not truth. Right. If you ah. add anything to it, it's not true. Ah. It stands all by itself. Yeah. It has a category of all of its own. That's why I said the truth is not going to set you free. Let me my head to you. Because that's the strategy of the enemy. To add to what God has said or to take away from what God has said. Amen. When he attacked his ease, he asked him, well, can you eat of every tree? Uh, and she said, well, uh, what did she say? We can eat of every tree in the garden. Uh, and, 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 oh, you got to be. But not touch. But not touch. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Know, and, and, and the devil compounded upon her. Oh, that thought. Uh, yes. Added to it. Yes, he uh, and then, remember, when Jesus was, uh, after he came from the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, uh, and the devil took him to a high pillow of a mountain, uh, and said, Jump up this mountain! Uh, this is the uh, uh, fall of the angels who are buried here. Uh, he, was, he was trying to manipulate truth uh, to get Jesus to do evil. Uh, and Jesus told him, Quite frankly, that that's all I tell the Lord thy God. He was trying to twist the truth. Yes, he does. Uh, that's how he works. Yes, he does. Uh, he's trying to add to God's word, or he's trying to take away from God's word. Who am I to put that in the record for? Alright, we're in verse 17. 
He says, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, because there's a war going on. <laughs> and these are contrary opposite. That word contrary there means opposite. Uh, uh, one to the other, so that he cannot. Uh, he's stressing that. He cannot do the things that you would. Uh, forsake your will. Forsake your thoughts. Amen. Amen. Forsake your deeds. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, even when I'm doing uh, righteousness, I'm talking about I pray. He says, my righteousness is as, as, as what? Before God. Right. Amen. Fill me back. Amen. Unacceptable. <laughs> Go ahead. I believe it was the Apostle Paul says, I fight against my flesh daily. Yes. They bring it under submission. Yes. And, oh, and yeah. it's our choice to bring our flesh under submission. We got to. With the Holy Spirit's help, we can do it. We can do it. But we have to, we have to understand our flesh and how it works. Wow. And, and we have to... We have to smack it upside the head once in a while. Absolutely. And, and tell it no. Yes. The, the Holy Spirit through us says no, no, yes. no. Yeah. You can't have your way. When, when you're dirty, you got to do what? Take it back. Take it back. Bathe yourself in the Spirit. Amen. Uh, wash yourself in the Spirit. And you shall be what? Clean. Clean. Amen. Amen. And, and we're the only ones that can do it for us. Nobody yeah. else can. No, gotta be your choice. Amen. All right, let's move on. Here we go. We hear uh, verse 18. It says, now notice what he said. But if you be what? Led. Led. That's what led means to be influenced by. Guided by. When Jesus said in the book of St. John, that the comforter shall come. That comforter, that word comforter means a guy that walks alongside, a paraclete. Uh, and, and it also, that word paraclete, it is also a legal term that means advisor. The Holy Ghost walks alongside you to advise you, to lead and guide you. To where God wants you to be. And the voice that, that you hear is uh, uh, literally when the Holy Ghost speaks to you, it speaks to you in Jesus' voice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. And, and the Holy Ghost within you, uh, it, it knows not only. Because sometimes we deny our thoughts, uh, but our feelings are all telling. Oh, yeah. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so, so when the Holy Ghost counsels you, uh, it's counseling you based on your thoughts and your feelings. Oh, yeah. The whole, the whole you is covered. Oh, God. Huh? Uh, with me? Uh, so, so it can't. 
multiple tests and we fuck them, you know, you try to say, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you this way. Uh, yeah. So you can pass the test. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you tonight so you can pass this test. Yeah. Amen? Uh, the Holy Ghost is, is an advocate. Uh, it advises you. Uh, it's a paraclete, meaning that it walks along this side uh, to lead you and to guide you. Uh, it knows your thoughts. Uh, he knows your feelings. Uh, and, and, and he weighs your behavior. All of it based on what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Because he could make food out of anything he wanted to. Mm -hmm. He could bring food into existence just by saying he needed it. Mm -hmm. But he chose not to turn that rock into bread because Satan was tempting him. Not because he couldn't do it, right. but because yeah. Satan was tempting him to do it. Right, right. And that's where we have to learn from Jesus. Just because we can do something doesn't mean it's always... True. Especially if Satan is behind it. Yeah. The the all I agree with everything you said, except for one small statement. Okay. But in that small statement, it, it was the hardest thing for Jesus. But no, I I, I don't yeah. know if the fraction was or not. I'm just... Right, right. The reason why I said that now, I, I, I totally agree with everything you said. I totally agree. Just that one small statement. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I I just. Had a, I knew I had to say it. And, 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 and the reason why I say what I said was because uh, the enemy came to Jesus and he had nothing in him. He had overcome the lust of the flesh, exactly. the lust of the eye, and the pride of the mind. Amen. <laughs> but I told you, it, it's not hard. As we think is hard for him because, yeah. he, like you said, he had overcome it. Overcome. Oh, yeah. He, he, he had Satan beat before Satan even showed up. Right. Come on here. Because he knew Satan. Yeah. He created Satan. He, knows. he knew what oh, Satan was going to do before he did it. That's right. Oh, I think I can't think of how I want to say it, but you be not far off. <laughs> I think the power the thing to keep you grounded, and I know with me, what kept, what keeps me grounded is because the Lord says, "What do you honor?" Yeah. Whatever you honor, that's why the, the Scripture says, Ooh. "Whatever a man's heart is, yeah. so is his treasure." So right. if your heart belongs to God and the right. things of God, you will honor him to want to fight and say, yeah. I'm going to seek God and not my flesh. Right. I'm going to seek what he wants and not my flesh because you know what you honor. Right. People don't just, if you don't honor something, and that's just human nature. If you don't care about something or you're not interested in it, you're not going to take care of it. You're not right. going to invest in it. You just right. go, oh, it ain't mine. Or it ain't, you know, but right. once you know what you honor. Right. What does the scripture say? Whoever, whatever you yield your members to obey, that's who's serving yeah. you all to whom you obey. Yeah. Amen. That's true. Yeah. Where your treasure is, there is your heart also. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All right. Now notice it. He said, verse 18, but if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. The law, meaning, meaning the law of Moses, which was instituted to bring down condemnation. The law was only meant to be a schoolmaster or a tutor to, to lead.
leads us to Christ to expose what's in us so that we can repent. Yes. Amen? And turn to Christ. It was never meant to save or to deliver or to set free. Amen? Y'all with me? So, so he said, if you be led by the Spirit, you're not under the curse, if you're not going to say it that way, of what the law uh, revealed in us. <laughs> I got that one straight from the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Uh, you're not under the curse, because the law is not a curse, but it reveals the cursedness in us. Uh, it's a reflection. Uh, uh, it's the perfect law of liberty. <laughs> uh, if you obey, uh, but we can obey it in our flesh, but we can live it in our spirit. Amen. Y'all got any questions on that? That's good. That's good stuff. All right. Here we go. Now, no, 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 what he said. He said, now the works of the flesh are manifest. And what I said earlier, works of the flesh are, are multiple. It's plural. Uh, it's reflected in your thoughts and deeds. Amen? Huh? Yeah, with your feeling, your desire. Amen? Yep. And, and your desires produce the thoughts. Huh? Amen. Yeah. If you want to walk with God, you got to be able first to suppress your desire. gender stuff and thing. And I was telling him, I was brought up in a Christian home and I I could sense Satan trying to tell me things 
But I was brought up in a way that I could rebuke those things. Uh -huh. and, and that's where bringing up a child in the way they should go, he will not bring. Because he's got the tools to rebuke Satan. Mm -hmm. And that's where the Holy Spirit and all works together. But if a child isn't brought up in the way it should go, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, well, it's going to go bad. <laughs> Not good, is it? Absolutely. Now, notice, they said the works of the flesh is plural. Huh? So we, we got to realize that the works of the flesh are still operating in us. Amen. Huh? Right? And, and, and it's operating in us through our desires. Mm -hmm. yep. And I keep stressing that. You've got to manage your desire. What exactly. is my desire? Yep. If I'm desiring something evil, okay. I got to watch it because and rebuke it and cast it down because sooner or later it's going to manifest in deed. It don't line up with the word of God. It doesn't line up. And, 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 and that's how we can overcome our flesh. Through the word of God. Uh, through the word and, and, and suppressing and overcoming our desire. Amen. Evil. What's about evil? Lustful. That's what I'm talking about. Lustful, evil desire. When, I, when, they, when they try to sprout up. I gotta come back. Yeah. Uh, don't give in to it. Don't feed in to it. Don't bear it. That's it. That's it. Uh, let it go. That's it. That's it. Uh, well, Bishop, do you think it's a good thing to, when you have, going, when you're going through something, to be able to, you have to be honest. Right. You have to be honest. I feel like slapping somebody's face. Right. 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 about your uh, works of evil desire, like you said, if you keep ignoring it, it's going to manifest sooner or later. If you, ignore, if, you, if you know that you have some weaknesses, your flesh is acting up in any kind of way, it's, you, we should go before the, God, before the Lord in prayer and, you know, and, and ask God, like you say, to help us. Right. And as we do that, we continually doing that, it's like smothering that thing. Right. You're not feeding it. Out. Yeah, you're choking it out. And as you do that, sooner or later, God's going to give you deliverance and give you victory. Completely. When you know anything, you, you suppress that thing so much until it's, it's not even a part of your life no. anymore. Yeah. God took it completely out of your life. Out of your life. Mm -hmm. And he'll take it so completely and do it so, so smoothly. You don't even realize. You don't even know it's gone. Oh, and that's it. That yeah. Uh, and 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 you know, the enemy. This how the enemy works. He'll come to you with some evil thoughts, uh, and just like trying to plant seeds in your mind, mm -hmm. uh, like like in the wrong again. Uh, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong again. You can. Don't get you a lot of tea. Go, go, go ahead. You know, ain't that wrong, Gavin? Uh, you'll do that. Uh, and, and, 
of gambling is in there. I guess uh, because it causes an individual not to trust in God. Lean on him. Uh, putting your money out to use who he is. Uh, that's not God. God is ordained to be good students. God is not a God of chance and love. Uh, Hallelujah! Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit will never lead you into a lot of your life. Come on. Come on. Never. Uh, and even if there's somebody who said, well, I'm going to witness to somebody in that line, he'll wait till that individual get out of the line because he don't want you to be, uh, be perceived as evil. Mm -hmm. Be an appearance of evil. Yeah. Thank you.
is, is uncleanliness is, is moral imperfections. Your morality is off. Yeah. You got an unclean spirit uh -huh. huh? that is trying to operate within you. You follow? Mm -hmm. uh, and in, in, in the context of, of this uh, uncleanliness is, is dealing with moral in, impurity. Your morals are wrong. Huh? Yep. You don't abide by righteous morality. You follow? Yep. Yeah. No values. Anything goes. All right? Now, <laughs> it says here, uh, lasciviousness is that uh, we call it sometimes loose living, but it really means uh, 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 uh. I like uh, what's his name called? He calls it uh, Kirk Franklin. He calls it watch, which which really means uh, 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 other scriptures. It talks about wantingness, which talks about uh, evil, uh, excessive sexual things. Follow? No. Uh, orgy. Uh, Beastality, yeah. uh, things such as that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Father, mm -hmm. you have to have. Playboy man. Playboy. Playboy. Yeah. Playboy. Yeah. Toys. Yeah. Father, thank you. Would that include homosexuality? Homosexuality. Come on. Absolutely. Lesbianism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's, what's, wait a Bisexualism. You have all of it. Yes, amen. All of it. Yes. I was watching this, this show the other day on YouTube, and it, and the Lord was showing me the mindsets of mm -hmm. people who started out ministering, eat cold, mm -hmm. and then they got into this limelight where they feel like what they do is right. Right. And there was, they had these male pastors on there that they call themselves back pastors, archbishops, right. and they got first gentlemen. See, no good. And I'm no and good. as you were saying that, even with adultery, you're still <laughs> you're not married. No I don't good. care how you get a ring and say I yeah. do, you are not married, not in the sight of God. No, mm -hmm. no, that falls in the last city. And they run churches. Yeah. Talk about they got first ladies and they're gentlemen. Right. <laughs> right. What did he do to Solomon the more? Burn it up. Burn it up. What did he tell uh, Lot's wife? Don't look back. Run and don't look back. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We laugh, but it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. And, and, how, oh, I will also that like, so glad you said. But let's use this as a teaching moment. Yes. What brought about those behaviors? What did it infer? Desire. Desire. Yeah. It was him. Yeah. And and they denied it. When he in the sense of denied it in the fact of not trying to deal with it. And then it became stronger and stronger and it overpowered them. And they had to go into it. So, yeah. they got all the and that made them a reprobate mindset. Right. But well, they deal with it, not deal with it, rejecting the truth. Right. Huh? All right. Now, let's not let everything I'm saying. Well, they no. have to right. right. get their desire. They right. don't know that they even learn about it and, and know about it when they, they haven't heard yet. It, it came from the fall in the garden. Exactly. Right. The flesh is corrupt. <laughs> That's why, that's why God says the flesh cannot inherit the kingdom. Right, right. Now, no, because we can't give the devil all that kind of credit. Right. Uh, but, but, but it came from the fall in the garden, and the devil who was in that fall, and he uses it against us. Exactly. That's how it is. Our flesh is. So that's how he's telling you to choose. Huh? You follow? He knows the city. That's why we got to learn to overcome the flesh. That's right. 
You can eat from any other tree but that one. And he gave them. He knew that the desire, he's gone. So he knew what the desires was, but he also knew what free will was. And so even in that, they had a choice. He didn't, he didn't tell them, don't you, oh, you're going to die. He didn't say none of that. He just said, you can eat from any other tree but that one. And he sat back and watched. And then he walked through the garden and said, Adam, where are you? And, and remember, uh, right before uh, the flood, the reason why God instituted the flood is because the heart of men were on evil continuum. Yep. They were thinking evil continuum. Yep. Yep. That, that, that flesh was running down. Go ahead. We're going to call the fallen angels. We're going to fix it. The fallen angels had taken wives of the women of the earth. That's part of the flood reading. Yeah. But, yeah. And before the, the Bible was written, everything was, I don't know how you say it, but it, it was between God and, the, and man. If you weren't talking to God, you were having your own imaginations. And so the only way you, the only way you would keep from having your own imagination would be to be talking to God continuously. Yeah. Well, I'm going I'm I'm to stop right here because I'm going to go into the works of the flesh and we don't have time to really delve into it and do it justice. So, Lord, we will follow up on this uh, next week. Amen. Amen. This is good. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Amen. Helpful and insightful. Questions are awesome. <laughs> I thought I understood this whole passage for years, and tonight I learned a lot. Amen. And have a lot more to learn. Amen. And you got it too, all the time. Yeah. Wow, that's what Bible study is for you. Okay. Amen. Learn. Every time you do a Bible study, I learn something different, and, and no one. I've ever listened to has ever done a Bible study as thorough as you have. Wow. And I really appreciate the way you do it. Oh, thank you. It, it, it's so insightful and other people don't, they haven't given the, the congregation an opportunity to ask questions or mm -hmm. to go off the key a little bit, you know, and, and they, they are so worried about finishing their lesson mm -hmm. that, that they can't fully teach <coughs> Wow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And it, it's just disturbing. Yes. It's disturbing me. Yes. I'm glad right. I came to this church. We are me too. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we are too. Yeah. All right. We should like thank you God. Could God. You could teach other teachers. Yes. We thank God for the Bible study on today, and uh, we'll be back next week, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.